So one of the problems with uh, the Raspberry Pi being on network um, is that when it uses DHCP, which is a default network option, it allocates itself an address on the network and uh, it's very difficult to know exactly what that address is unless you connect the keyboard and the mouse or use uh, some other method of, of getting the Raspberry Pi to display it. So this is to show you how you can do a port scan for the Raspberry Pi and it makes it easy to find the Raspberry Pi and then just connect to it using Secure Shell from your local machine. So I'll open up a uh, terminal window and uh, on my desktop I've got a um, shell script which I wrote to do port scans. So if I just run that, it goes through each address on the internet, on, on well, my subnet of the internet and, uh, and it's found port 22 there on this on this machine which is the uh, which is my Raspberry Pi and it's as easy as that so if I now open up another tab and secure shell to that address and the Raspberry Pi password and there I am I've logged on to the Raspberry Pi and it's, it's that simple it makes it so much easier um, if you've got like a, uh, a Raspberry Pi which is on the DHCP um, addressing if you allocate your own IP addresses, it makes it so much more complicated to try and sort of look after all of the IP addresses for your Raspberry Pis. Uh, but now that I'm on the Raspberry Pi, um, I can uh, go to the desktop on the Raspberry Pi and I can show you uh, running my latest project just as an example. And I will run step 8. Is. And this is just a Python script which I which I've done. And so that's how you connect really quickly and easy to your Raspberry Pi if you don't know the address of it. Finally, I'll show you the script and a brief explanation of what it does. So I'll open it up. Okay, so at the top of the script, you can, in fact, you should edit these um, settings before you run the script, just to put it on your own network. So my local network starts off with these three. Uh, digits so you put your own network numbers in there and also I've made it run quicker because I'm only port scanning for port 22 uh, what you could do is you could put a uh, port scan from port 1 to 1024 and it would take a lot longer but you can port scan for, for any kind of service such as a uh, web service or, or things running on machines and the actual uh, script itself just goes for every uh, subnet of that or network address of that particular um, network and uh, then it goes through the the port range which you requested it to and it just runs one of these well first of all it runs a ping to see if the machine's there so if the pings turned off then uh, it probably won't find the machine anyway and then after it's done a ping for each of the ports it does uh, one of these NT commands just to check and see if, if that port's open and the, port, the script's as simple as that